A little weird. Yeah, right now we are joined by Ryan Darcy. Ryan Darcy, associate producer. This is a, an historic moment for, uh, for On The Spot. So I uh, am. Yeah. You are the first person to bring a we to our set, and we appreciate it with Metal Slug I Anthology. I feel privileged, man. I feel privileged. Well, welcome. <laughs> Let's, uh, well, now obviously, uh, the Wii controller is, is presenting people with all kinds of, uh, of opportunities when they make games, and, and Metal Slug is, is no different. Uh, how many different controller configurations do you have for this game? There's six different controller configurations. And, and, wow. how, and how many different Metal Slug games are in this anthology? There's seven different Metal Slug games. So, so you can practically play each game differently. Yes. Then you yes. step when you play Metal Slug 6. Now, what, now, what are the, right, before we uh, start showing off the controller, what are the seven games? All right, so you got Metal Slug 1, 2, and X, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And 6 has never been released in the U.S. before, so this, this is its debut. Cool. So, yeah. Nice. So you're going to be playing 6 yeah, with the sure. Wii controller. For sure. Awesome. No All pressure. Right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first off, we've got to choose it. So there we go. We'll load it up. So make sure we'll get some nice shots of your, of your hands while you're doing this. Hopefully you, cl you cleaned them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I clipped my nails and everything. That's, uh, that's, that's, We're all hand models now. now. Exactly. Like, here's the PS3. Here's this. Here's this. So you notice I got the uh, you know, little safety strap on here so you don't drop it and break the controller. <laughs> uh, and okay, so in 6 you actually have an easy and hard mode. We'll go for the hard because I'm, I'm practicing. I think I'm, I'm pretty good by now. Nice. Uh, and so those are the four normal characters and we've got two more characters and it's... Uh, it's two characters from Akari Warriors, actually, Ralph and Clark. So I'll go ahead and choose Ralph. Nice. Um, and uh, so right now, uh, the controller configuration I have is called Wii Remote, and that's the default control configuration for the game when you first load up Metal Slug. So the way it works is much like you know an old-school Nintendo controller, where you use the D-pad to move around, and then the two buttons on the right, the one and two buttons you use to shoot and, uh, and jump. So it's... You know, a really easy controller just to step into and go ahead and, and, and play Metal Slug and, and, you know, destroy lots of baddies. So, uh, like you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one thing that utilizes the Wii sensors is the grenade throw. The gr you perform the grenade throw by, go ahead, you can go ahead and uh, flip the controller and uh, you, you, you toss a grenade out. So. Can you, can you do it one more time? Yeah, sure. All right. So just go ahead and go like this, throw the grenade, and don't get hit by the tank. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Or you can like tap it on your finger like that if you want to do it real quick. See so, that again? Uh, nice. Okay. Just like that, yeah. And uh, so that all gonna be in the manual or are these like you know pro tricks that you figured nah. out <laughs> over the course. With well, the we, don't, we don't give techniques, but we yeah. tell you how to play the game, cool. so we at least give you that. Uh, I'll go ahead and switch up the controls real quick. Show you something else. So you go into the game options here, control options, player one. Uh, GameCube controller. Yeah, you, you can also hook up the GameCube controller to, to the Wii and uh, go ahead and play it with that. So that, that's another simple basic control. That's seven options. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's one of the six. That's oh, one of the okay. six. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Um, all right, so here's one that, uh, that utilizes a lot more of, of the, the Wii uh, and special controls. So I'll go ahead and save that. And this one is called the tilt controller, right? So the way it works is I tilt the control in the direction I want to go. And... You know, if I, oh, there we go. I died. Uh, no one saw it. There were two people looking at the hands. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if I, this makes me go left, this makes me go right. Press the up button to jump, and uh, oh, this one seems a little harder. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to master. You know, I've had some time with it, and uh, you know, still, it's uh, you know definitely easier to go ahead and jump in with a regular uh, Wii default control scheme, but uh, oh, this is it's still a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, it, it's especially for the hardcore Metal Slug fans, you know, I mean, dudes who have been playing this game since 1996 when it first came out, it's, it's a whole new way to approach it, you know, a whole new angle of interactivity that they can, they can try to approach Metal Slug with, so. So now 6 has some other new features like, like target locking or, or something like that. The, there's right? no target locking. Okay. Uh, one of the things it does have is the weapon stock system. Right. And uh, you'll notice the two empty black boxes in the lower left corner right there. Uh, th those will fill up with weapon power-ups when, when I eventually get them. And then you can swap through them and pick whatever you want to use. So you can always use your pistol and then whatever two weapon pickups you have. So it doesn't Ryan automatically Davis? overwrite uh, whatever you have? Right. As you can hand. see, I just picked up a machine gun so that H is uh, right down there in the, in the box. Cool. So, all right, so we've seen this. That was control scheme number three. Right. All, all right. right. Let's check out another N one. Number four. Uh, this one's going to use the, the nunchuck as well. It's actually called nunchuck control stick, so got to go ahead and plug this in. 
And it doesn't mind, they just plug it in like that? No, you go ahead and do totally that. Knows. It's totally right. cool. Yeah. Cool. Exit back out. All right, so the way this one works is I'm using my left hand on the nunchuck stick uh, to control all the movement, right? And then on my right hand, I've got the fire button with the B button on the back, and then A button makes you jump. So... Uh, and then it's still a, a shake for grenades? Yeah, it's still a shake for grenades. And cool. you can see I just picked up a slug here, so if I go ahead and actually throw a grenade, it's going to shoot out a cannon. Um, that's a crazy train. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little excessive, but that, that, that's, <laughs> that's what the slug. game's yeah, for. Yeah. Slug, man. Come on now, it's got to be excessive. All right, so that's that's control scheme That's control scheme number four. Right. I like this one. This one seems this seems good. Yeah, this is another really easy one to pick up and go ahead and play. Uh, let's check another one. I, was that four? I mean, there's so many. Yeah, 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 that's, that's four. four. Okay. Another one very similar uh, to the nunchuck control stick is nunchuck only. Whoa. And this one's for the lazy person. You go ahead <laughs> and you just use your left hand, and that's it. It's got the movement, uh, the firing, and the jumping all in one hand. Uh, you know, Metal Slug 6 is the only game in the series that has two extra buttons to switch weapon because you have the weapon stock system, and then also uh, the alternate attack. So, which I haven't actually showed you yet, so I can go ahead and jump out of this thing. And uh, if you hold down the alternate attack button and then hit fire, you'll go ahead and. Oh, Die. first you get killed, and then you can show off what you're trying to show. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you hold... There we go, alternate attack button. Uh, I think you just missed the melee attack, but here we go. So... Nice. Yeah, you go ahead and just plow through your enemy, and your fists explode for obvious reasons. Uh, <laughs> and the other dude I'm not going like to waste the, any time. The other dude does the sweet backbreaker, right? Uh, the, uh, Clark also has his own special uh, melee attack, so yeah. yeah. All right, Ryan, da Ryan Davis, well, before we move on to, uh, was that number five we just saw? We have one left? Is that uh, right? Yeah, Maybe? the last one, which is... Uh, okay, you switch to that, and then we'll go guy. to Ryan Davis for some questions. It's called Arcade. Yeah, okay. it's called Arcade. So the way this works is that you take the Wii remote, right? And this is this basically your arcade stick. And you tilt it to the left, you move left. Tilt it to the right, you move right. Back, and you duck, and up, you point up. And then over here is your... You're firing, and then uh, also you're jumping. For the true arcade experience. Exactly, exactly. That's completely crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't it? It's <laughs> totally mind blowing. <laughs> you get, so, yeah, so you hold. So and then the, gr the grenade is also flicking the, uh, the, the, the nunchuck. So. How did you guys think, think of all this? Well, you know, we first got this project and we were all really excited about it because it was our first chance to get our hands on a Wii and develop for it. So, you know, we got our designers together in the company and a few other people who were interested in giving ideas. And we came up with about 10 ideas to start with and wound up with the, uh, the six that you see right now. So. Was there anything even crazier than the arcade one that you can tell us about? Or are these, are these trade secrets that you're going to use? Uh, I mean, I can't remember anything specific that, that worth mentioning. But, yeah, there were some ones that, you know, we found just didn't work. And, you know, that's going to happen in the beginning stages of, with developing the week because we're all trying to figure out how, what's the best way to use this stuff. So. Ryan, Ryan Davis, you have any Metal Slug questions? I have a ton. Hit us. Uh, Brock Peterson from uh, Kennewick, uh, Washington asks, is, uh, are the Akari Warriors hidden unlockables, or are they play, uh, playable, selectable from the start? No, they're right, you can select them right from the start. But only in six? Uh, but only in six, yes. Ryan Davis? Uh, Harry Hansard from uh, York, Great Britain asks, can you use the Virtual Console Classic uh, controller instead of tilting the Wii Remote on its side? Uh, virtual, I'm not sure exactly what that there, is. There's, there's a, the there's classic the, controller. The retro controller or whatever. They've got the GameCube, and then there's also some other um, controller they're going to do. For, for the Wii? Oh, uh, I'm not actually sure. I don't think it's compatible with it right now. I mean, it's not in the options, so, uh, um, you know, this is a near final build. It's not finished completely yet, but we don't really have plans to, to support that right now. Ryan Davis? Uh, Chris uh, lynch Hahn from Dublin, Ireland. Asks, uh, is it easier than the arcade, like per level saves, or, or do you die and go back to the start of the game? That's actually a good question because uh, you know we went ahead and implemented uh, different play modes, you know, so we can um, let the casual gamers or mainstream gamers, you know, play and enjoy all that everything that Metal Slug has to offer, just as much as hardcore fans can. So there's four different options. There's ten, continue, twenty, thirty, and unlimited. And, uh, you know, every time you beat the game, you get some tokens, and you can spend these tokens to buy unlockable things, or not, not buy, but, you know, just unlock things, like, uh, you know, special art and uh, music tracks. Um, and then, but if you play the limited continue modes, 
you unlock spe uh, other things that are only available in limited continuum modes, like an interview with the original Metal Slug team, uh, original cool. Tonko art that was created just for this game, and uh, some other uh, special music tracks. So. Nice. Ryan Davis, one last question? Sure. Nick Rotano from Berlin, Connecticut asks, The Biggie, when is the game coming out? It's release or near release, and it's coming out for $39.99, priced well below most of the other games. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great impulse buy if you're, if you're looking now, to, just, uh, are... <laughs> to expand your Wii collection as soon as you get it. So. Very cool. Well, thank you for coming by, Ryan. No problem. The game is Metal no Slug problem. Anthology. If yeah. you want to leave that Wii behind, you know, it's cool. Look yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The PlayStation 3 that Jeff just put in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> no? We'll see, right. we'll see if we can clone one for you. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Ryan. Standing by right now, Ryan.